It's Jake with AG Russell Knives, and today I'm going to show you a whole bunch of our Damascus knives. There's a, quite a few options. We've got some AG Russell, some Italian, Boker, uh, got some Olamic from Russia. That's for you, Panama Red. I'm going to do some uh, Canadian uh, Benchmade. So let's, let's get into it. We're going to start off with the Boker Gentleman's Lockback. This is a nice piece of Damascus steel. It is a uh, red stag handle, little lock back, traditional uh, pocket knife there. It's got a nice snap to it. One of the few companies really doing stag well. Not, uh, it's becoming a rarer and rarer thing. I'm gonna be telling you guys prices uh, as of now but uh, it's not a future promise of prices, so for current pricing, always check the website. But as a viewer myself, I hate it when they make you go look it up. So this one, currently $199. Next, we have the Mazarine Turtle. You got a nice Damascus blade, a briarwood overlay on both sides. It has an anodized titanium clip, liner lock, some interesting uh, ball backspacers there. I mean, they don't spin or anything. It's just kind of cool looking. It is a liner lock. It is not really openable with one hand. You can kind of do it, but it's it's tough. It's definitely more of a, a it's a two-hander. Much easier with two hands. This is coming in at 175. Pretty little guy. Next we have the A.G. Russell Doodlebug. You get a nice Damascus blade, carbon fiber, super duper lightweight. The hardware is all covered in a titan uh, gold painted titanium. Uh, it's a titanium, titanium coating, I mean. The inside is a liner, liner lock titanium and blue titanium pocket clip. Both of those anodized blue. You got a nice picture, of the nice uh, anodized color there. Liner lock. This one is usable one-handed. Still not. Uh, it's not going to fly out. It's definitely kind of a slower open, but it's a small knife. Great for your uh, watch pocket, your fifth pocket. This one's running 125. Next we have the Powerball knives. This is the C37 Powerball. Nice titanium or a Damascus blade there. And these two, including the uh, yeah, all all the all the AG Russells I'm showing you here right now are using a sandwich Damascus. That means the middle steel is the steel that's forming the edge. That's how we prefer to do it. The uh, this middle steel is a 9CR 13MOV, and then it's clad in Damascus on the outside. This is a G10 handle, ball bearings in the pivot. It is a flipper deployment. Nice and super smooth. You got a pocket clip there, a little bit of texturing to the G10. This is coming in at 135. And then you have the bigger brother here. It's a smoother G10. Larger blade, and uh, the pocket clip is a little bit deeper. Not quite a deep carry, but getting close there. Also with the ball bearing pivot, and it's coming in at 145. Powerball C37 and C35. Next, we're have some Japanese blades. This is a Higo, uh, Higo folder here. This is in Kokobolo, Higo style I mean. It has a liner lock. It has that extended tang so you can use that as a front flipper and then originally it was made so that you would hold that and that would lock the blade in place but now with the liner lock you don't have to hold that. I mean you do anyways because that's just where your thumb rests. Got some nice jimping that gives some texture, but it's not not very aggressive. So nice there. The spine is rounded over. This one is also using a 
sandwiched steel. I believe the core is a VG10. And some interestingly 3D CNC machine, machine milled Coco Bolo. This is coming in at 165. Next, we also have another Higo style folder. This is with a black G10 instead of the Coco Bolo. Different blade shape. So this one had kind of a, a general purpose blade, really. It's, it's almost a Warncliffe. It's just like AG's general purpose. This one is more of a Tonto. You can see got some interesting uh, grind angles on there. Got a hollow grind in the middle here and then a flat, thicker grind coming up here with, uh, with a transition all the way to the point. So you got a nice strengthened point. Again, it's using a sandwiched Damascus. I believe the core is a VG10. I could be wrong on that, I'll have to double check. This one's a beefy folder. It's got some thick liners. It's got some thick steel liners, and then the, the G10 itself is fairly thick. It's, a, it's kind of a beast of a knife, really. Got that front flip action. Uh, it takes some getting used to. If you have small hands, it might be difficult to pull off, because if your thumb isn't long enough, your, the rest of your hand is sitting high on it. And so when you bring the, the tang back, it, it contacts you on the back there. So you have to have your hand lower. So you have to have a thumb long enough to go all the way around the top and then to the back. So short thumb people, doesn't work real well, but everyone else, it's a cool knife. No pocket clip on either of these uh, Higo style ones. All they have is the lanyard hole. This bigger Higo is going for also 165. Next, we have the A.G. Russell Folding Powerball Dagger. This is the uh, uh, C42 Powerball. You got the ball bearings in the, in the pivot there. Got that dagger style blade with the fuller on the inside. It is sharpened only on one side. The top is not sharpened. You definitely want that because it sticks out of the top. You wouldn't want that sharpened. I really like the uh, kind of recessed not recessed, but it's it's a subtle flipper. Works very well, though. Solid liners, but these ones have relief cuts on the inside, so it's not crazy heavy. No relief cuts on the Higo. This is a this is a beefy knife. This one's much lighter weight. We're using uh, sandalwood on these on the scales there. That's going to be our replacement for Coco Bolo. It's a cousin of it. Very hard wood. Very durable. Uh, it does tend to be a little bit plainer than Coco Bolo, but um, Coco Bolo is banned right now, so you can't get it. I mean, it's it's currently a protected protected uh, species. So uh, next best thing, sandalwood. This one is going for 155. Tony from the store loves it. He carries it all the time. Next we have the uh, brother. This is a full fixed blade, double edged stiletto. Stiletto dagger, you still got that um, fuller down the middle, double edge, Damascus all the way down. You can see it's sandwiched. This one's coming in at 175, which is more expensive than the folding dagger. And, and I, for first I was like, wait, why is it more expensive? Well, I, it is double the, the uh, Damascus. You have to have twice the amount. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Again, we have the sandalwood handle scales. Looks real nice. This one's a little redder. It does tend to lean a little bit more red. Next we have the Mantis knives. This is the gearhead uh, in uh, brass and copper. Nice Damascus blade. Again, we're using this sandwich Damascus. Pretty neat mechanism here. You pull on this tab, you push it uh, down or, or back, the opposite way of the blade, and the blade pops out. Super neat. You can see the gears do work. Made in the US. It is, uh, both of them are coming in at 275. Pretty chunky blades. They're, they're, they're bulky. They're not thin. That's at least, that's over half an inch. It's like getting closer to an inch. <laughs> Three quarters maybe. Fills the hands though. Those are coming in at 275. Next, we have the AG Russell Powerball C31. This again has the sandalwood, and then we have a carbon fiber bolster there. 
get that nice Damascus blade. Again, we're using a sandwich Damascus. This is a 9CR13MOV core. Fully reversible pocket clip. Again, you have those thick liners, but they are milled out on the inside to relieve that weight. So it's not like crazy weight. It's not a crazy heavy knife. It's pretty lightweight. Pretty big blade. It fills the hands pretty well. If, if it's coming out on either side of my hand, big paws, it's, it's a big knife. It's coming in at 155. Up next we have the one hand knife K87 folding dagger blade. This has a really cool dagger blade edge on there. It is single edge, but it's got beautiful grind lines. I love the fuller in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. It's using Damas steel instead of one of the sandwich Damascus steels. Damas steel is made with two powdered steels that are used together to make the Damascus, but they're each so similar in composition that they actually wear away at the same rate, so your edge feels like a homogenous steel. Nice simple design. You have that K87 design. It's got that, uh, it's got the, the front lock push up with the thumb, down with the forefinger. Or you can uh, pinch it, middle finger and thumb, pulling back with those, pushing down with the forefinger, and it's sitting against the palm. This is coming in at 445. That damn steel is not cheap. That is not cheap stuff. It's expensive stuff. Pretty, but you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> Absolutely love the grind on this. Next, I wanted to show you a Benchmade Bug Out Gold Class. Um, I kept it in the box just because the box is really cool. So you could just see the whole unboxing experience here. Benchmade Gold Class. It's a nice box, I gotta say. It's quality. This is the bunch, bench made bug out. You have Dama steel blade, marbled carbon fiber, C Tech inlay that'll glow in the dark, deep pocket clip, numbered. This one is 2242. I don't know how many they're going to make, but uh, it's a sexy knife. This one's just fresh out of the box, so it's not uh, dropping shut quite yet. But absolutely gorgeous. $750, so you're definitely going to pay for it. But really pretty, really lightweight, thin. It's a fantastic knife. Definitely worth, worth checking out if you're uh, looking for a carry carry knife. Next we have the Rhino Blades. These are handmade out of Texas. You get a nice Damascus blade here. This one's with white bone. It's a chunker. It's, it's got a pretty thick stock there. You can say, see they etched up through the blade and then the rest of the handle is polished. But the full thing, you got some nice Swirls in there. See those those round round swirls at the top, and then it's waves at the bottom. Pretty nice. This one is swirls all the way through. Got some uh, file work at the top of this one. This is uh, burnt bone and uh, sheaths. I guess that would be nice to see. You got a brown. Drop pouch sheath for the white one. Slides in nice. And then the burnt bone has a snap. Two fairly handsome sheaths. A little bit thick on the edge for my taste, but uh, definitely some pretty pieces. Both of those are coming in at a very reasonable Hundred sixty dollars. I don't know. I don't know if it's fully. I don't know if it's fully handmade. 
if they're doing the full forging themselves or if they're buying the Damascus or what, but 160 for a Damascus fixed blade, pretty solid. Next, we're gonna show an old Lamech. This is for Panama Red, requested to see this on our YouTube, one of our YouTube comments. Some gorgeous, really tight weave Damascus from Russia there. Impressive stuff. This is the Hornbeam Hunter. It's got Hornbeam handle. It's fairly comfortable, I gotta say. I thought it was gonna be pretty uncomfortable. I imagine it, how much comfort it is really depends on the shape of your hands. Certainly I wouldn't wanna be, it's not comfortable enough that I would be cutting down a tree with this, no. But not many knives this size would be that comfortable for that anyways. They are each numbered, which is pretty neat. This is 552. Cast, guard, and butt. Uh, brass, I believe. This one is coming in at $445. It's a nice piece, I gotta say. We only got, we got less than 10 of these left. Got a nice black leather sheath here. Dangler, dangler sheath, so it'll it'll sit nice and low, which is awesome. And uh, here's a crombit. We had four of these. We might be getting more in. Most of them are sold out. This is the uh, micarta. It's coming in at 175. It's really cool, but also it's like really small. I don't know how to hold it. Like it's, it's really small. I guess if you forget the ring completely and just go out the back end is the only way I could think of. I guess you get, no. Nothing about it feels very comfortable. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, my hands are too big for it maybe. Cool display piece though. And it comes with a, a nice leather sheath too. That's coming in at 175. We're really, sorry Pamela, we're really kind of low on all the Lamex stuff. There's not much stuff left. We're, uh, I think we're working on some other projects with them. But uh, going's been slow, so we'll see when they show up. Probably not till next year, till we get another batch of, of new things from them. And finally we have some Gaetan Bouchamp. I probably completely butchered that name. It's French out of Canada, Quebec, I believe. He does some really cool Damascus. And what's really, what, what, what really makes his knife shine, of course, is the scrimshaw. This is a lion on buffalo horn, polished to that nice shiny black. And then he's got a polished guard there. Super cool knife. You can see, if we look at the Damascus here, that, so that entire piece is Damascus all the way down, but it, it this and this top piece is mirrored out so really pretty hit that check out the detail on that lion we had 10 of these in stock probably not much longer i have a couple store samples i might uh get online but uh really pretty though it comes with a uh, black leather sheath it doesn't have the contrasting uh doesn't have the contrasting stitching like some of the others. It's just, uh, just a nice thick sheath. It's got nice thick leather. This knife is part of our Big Five series. It's limited to 25 pieces and it's selling for $950. So there you guys have it. That is Damascus Blades. That's what we got in stock right now. There are a few others that I didn't pull out, but they all the others have like less than three left in stock. So if you see something that I didn't feature, it's probably because there's almost nothing left. Um, so if you really want that one, pick it up. I will put the links in for each of these in the description below. Check out the links. Pricing will be on the website. That'll be more current than anything I said in the video. As always, guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good one.